you know, I never thought of chicken and chili cheese going well together. Mm. This ain't gonna disappoint. I'm gonna tell you guys one of the worst rejections I've ever had. Humiliating. Hey, welcome back to another mukbang, and today's actually gonna be a little different. I don't know if anyone has actually done this, but I'm gonna chili cheese Chick-fil-A. And as you can see, what we have are the chicken nuggets, the spicy chicken sandwich, and the fries as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and start this, I'm super hungry. There goes the chili. Love chili boys. I know the fries are gonna be good, at least. Now, to finish this off, Cheese, oh man. All right, I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'll tell you guys in a bit. Mmm. 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 Oh, yeah. Mmm. This is not bad at all. Why didn't I think of this? And of course it's important that you choose the right chili. The right chili that I got was from a famous burger place called uh, Tommy's. And their chili is amazing. And it's a spicy, so, you know, I never thought of chicken and chili cheese going well together. I proved myself wrong. And I got my sweet tea just in case. Save my life. Uh, my sweet tea from Chick-fil-A. I must know their secret ingredient. It's probably just a whole bunch of sugar. Mm. That's why it's delicious. Mm. It's like I gulped that sandwich. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna tell you guys one of the worst rejections I've ever had. Mm. You know, this ain't gonna disappoint. Hmm? The fries, chili cheese fries, come on, not going to disappoint, but anyways, the worst rejection I've ever had was when I went to this one club uh, with friends, and, you know, uh, you scout around with your friends, 
seeing who's cute and who's not, or who you're attracted to. And, you know, I saw this one girl. She was by herself. Put my chest up, got the confidence, thinking, um, you know, success, or at least a number. Just by herself, just sitting there. I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm not good with body language, so I don't know if she's having a fun time, or she's sad, or what's going on, whatever. And I, I I scout first. I don't go right away. Try to read as much as I can on what's going on, the situation. And then boom, what's that? Go in. Hey. <laughs> no, I don't do that. I, uh, you know. Start up a conversation. I don't remember what it was. I just remember how bad the rejection was. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't traumatizing. Like that much. It wasn't. It was just pretty bad. So, just for me to remember that. So, I don't remember the conversation. Anyway, she was by herself. And... When I started up, she already, like, she was pissed or about something. She had, like, a bad attitude. And mind you, you're in a club. And I understand if, like, I don't know what happened. Um, but, you, you know, you're mad. I don't know what you're mad about. Something happened. She does not say a word. And I'm just here talking to myself. And you know that's embarrassing. Inside. If anybody else is looking. Unless you want to try to impress one of your friends. Be like hey look at this. I'm going to go get that girl right now. Watch. And then you get mad rejected. <laughs> or something else. But it's harder inside. To. Like take it in. Like you're just talking to yourself. Like you look stupid you know I don't know if anyone has done that but talking to yourself and straight ignoring it's hard to break that so you know I know there's plenty of fishes in the sea whatever this and that there's a lot of people out there but I wanted to try this because I was attracted to her and I think she got bothered to the point where she just like walked away. That's not the rejection, all right? That's already a rejection, but that's not the worst rejection. So I'm over here, sitting down by myself. Like, what the hell just happened? Yes. So, she walked away. No big deal. And then, I finally saw her with her friends, and it looks like she's not having fun. So, like, later through the, you know, like, 30 minutes maybe, as you go around the club, look for whatever, have fun, dance, whatever. I see her again with her friends, and just she's just sitting down while her friends are around. So, again, bring up the chest. Hey! <laughs> go over there. Confidence up. Try to engage in uh, conversation again. And, I, you know, like I said, I don't know what's going on. Straight up ignored me again. Because, you know, I wanted to take that chance. See where we lead up to. At least coffee. Or milk mountain with me. <laughs> but anyways... <laughs> Sat down there next to it, and then she all she did was look at her friend. The friend already knew what was happening. Like, uh, the friend goes next to me and says, Can you just leave? And I was like, Oh, shit. 
I was so in shock. Like, I wasn't shock shock, but I was more like, I was in shock of like, damn, did this just happen? And, you know, you can't be angry at that. And I wasn't angry. I was just like, damn, can't believe that's crazy, you know? When someone tells you to leave, and I didn't want to disrespect that, you know? Uh, so I was just like, ah, all right. <laughs> That was my exact reaction. Ah, all right. <laughs> what else can I do? You know? Yeah. Some people I know. I know some people will not take re uh, rejection lightly. Um, probably make a big scene. And I'm not talking about like it was the friend. It wasn't nice. It wasn't nice. Like. Like the the tone and the attitude. Can you just leave? It's not like it's like that. It was a it was a strong one. Like just you know I understand. But tell me politely, idiot. <laughs> tell me politely. And I was just like I. Right. So that was just like one of my worst rejections. And it sucks because. It's uh, humiliating. I mean, what can I do? There goes one. I, I mean, I still ended up having fun, you know, with my friends. It's just that I like to meet new people. Um, especially if you're attracted to them, it's actually a new adventure, right? Anyways, <clears throat> why the hell are you going to be in the club and you're not going to have fun? Just sit. I don't know what happened, but I feel like she... I think this is my assumption of why she was pissed. I don't know. She probably didn't want to go out and she was dragged by her friends to go out and forced to be like, Come on, it's going to be fun. You know, that type of thing. That's my assumption. But. Oh, that rejection. Maybe I'm just so used to uh, politeness. Can't get used to that, right? Can't get used to politeness all the time. Can you just leave? <laughs> okay. <laughs> embarrassing thinking about it, it's very funny you know that time though I was just like oh <clears throat> I'm just gonna pretend like I'm having fun in the club yeah nobody knows I got rejected hard <laughs> I hope the friend was at least like hey he was attractive but you're mad, and it's okay, but you missed your opportunity. So, at least the friend will be like, hey, I find him attractive. I don't know. <laughs> I'm making stuff up. <laughs> but, I don't know if anyone has a hard rejection like that. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have some really hard ones, too. Um, like, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't cause a scene on a rejection because... I think that's the the worst. Like that's really embarrassing. If someone actually caused a scene because they didn't get what they wanted, you know, tantrum. It's like a little kid wanting a toy, and the parents said no, so they throw a tantrum until they get it. And I'm seeing that, and I never, ever want to be in that situation. <laughs> That's why I think I uh, just said, okay. <laughs> uh, that was actually really good. What a great combination that was, surprisingly. So maybe uh, in the future, I might actually cheese more stuff and make that a thing. I don't know. I don't know if it's actually a thing already. I have to search other mukbangs. But uh, <laughs> I hope you guys like my uh, rejection story. Um, that was... Uh, Traumatizing.
But anyway, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, turn the notifications on, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Behind the scenes. Ah!